Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2 and today I'm playing with the deli paper again. Um, this deli paper is uh, quite interesting. So here I uh, I have some things that I did which is I just put acrylic paint over it and um, it kind of, you can, can you hear that? It's kind of like the crunchy, it turns into like this crunchy type of a material um unlike tissue paper so it's quite different uh when you don't put anything it's it feels kind of thin and um kind of it's thicker than wax paper um the consistency like uh we did the stamping uh we like a collage uh wax paper type and but then once you paint on it or put ink on it um uh, it kind of turns kind of like a different it has a crunchy feel to it it's interesting and then you can like and it goes back to its original shape I mean it'll have some creases but this is uh, quite interesting I really like it and I've been having a lot of fun and some of you guys uh, mentioned um, you wanted to see kind of more of these deli paper type so you know the first one that I did was just stamping on it and here now I'm playing with uh, this is acrylic paint here I just went over using this and then um, this is like some ink here and it doesn't soak through it just kind of stays on the surface so that's something different and then it'll just drip down like it, it kind of resists the uh, water and you can spray a whole lot of water and it won't disintegrate so that is quite interesting and so I really love it and I've been kind of addicted to it so you know this right here I just went over it and then I just made some lines and it just stays that way as you can see I put other colors because I would like flip it over and then I would you know do that to get uh, other colors and interesting texture and so that's that this right here is some ink some India ink I just put like couple, like little drops of it and then I just folded it in half and then I just went over it like this and the liquid just comes out from here it doesn't get absorbed into this uh, deli paper so that's very interesting to me so I just left this like this I thought it looked kind of cool and then here are some um, of the more acrylic paints and then some inks I did over the acrylic paint and then you can see that it kind of drips down and it'll just the water or the ink will just drip down so created this is that and then this these are just cleanup papers a lot of these are cleanup papers like this was a cleanup paper of uh, what I've been playing with and so you know that's that so here again is like a cleanup paper of the inks because it kind of drips you can get a lot of drippage from it so you, you can see all that it's quite interesting so let me go ahead and show you so I mean it's basically like translucent in a way I really love it and I'm so addicted to these and I can understand why everybody's like you know loving it I poured some paint in here uh, somebody asked what this was uh, when I did um, how to make the centerpieces for the my fabric flower stuff and this is like my ba uh, my daughter's uh, food container holder uh, because when she was younger she was when she was baby I used to make uh, her food you know her baby food so um, this was what that is and it has like plastic containers that fits right in here and then they all stack and so I would make uh, like a couple days worth of food and then I would freeze it you know so on and so forth so that's what this is and it's great for like a paint palette or I really like that so here I'm gonna go ahead and choose some colors that kind of 
you know match and so I have three primary colors here and uh, some secondary so I'm gonna go ahead and use um, like and then you see how like it's pretty interesting so I want to kind of go ahead and I've been laying these down so that I can get the excess as well like so and then you can just kind of go over it I'm using uh, just the gift card here and then you can just paint it and even if you get a crinkle if you flip it over and then it, the ink transfers but it doesn't tear like uh, tissue paper would have probably uh, got stuck together and then they would have probably um, you know rip but these don't rip and so you see that I've added some water to these acrylic paint too so and that's what I've been doing and look you can and then maybe you know we'll grab some yellow because I don't want to create like mud flip it over so you can see you see kind of glides over it and you can still like mix the colors if you want and then you know like it's so cool I love it oh my gosh it's so different than anything that I've ever played with like paper texture wise and um, how much uh, liquid like sprays and inks that it can take you can leave it like that. Here, I'm just cleaning it off. And then you can like put another jelly paper. And then you can still get like a second print in a way. <laughs> so you see how it just comes off? and it doesn't tear and I really like that and you can dry it and leave it off so that is like the cleanup paper and so here it is and then once it's dried uh, let me quickly dry this so you don't have to hear the noise Okay, so I went ahead and dried this, and you can hear that it's kind of like a crunchy paper or something. And if some areas still have paint, you can still dab it. But it's, it looks like it's very fragile, but it's not. That's what's interesting about it. again and then you can keep layering on top to get I guess you know different look if you want I want to choose a color that's um, let me put some blue over here and then once the bottom layer is dry then it doesn't like really blend it so yellow and purple makes like mud but um, it will just go over it
just having a lot of fun with it. Been playing with this kind of like for several hours already. And look, actually the cleanup paper looks cooler. You can still like get color and create this cool texture for all uh, to use in your art journals and things. Right? It's super cool. So, if we were to use a spray, see, I didn't uh, use any stencils. Um, let me get some stencils out. Okay, and then maybe use some sprays here. I had uh, made some sprays using um, the uh, liquid watercolors. Oh, it's a need a darker color. Sorry about that. Let me get a darker color. You see how like the colors, they just sit on top. It doesn't get absorbed to the uh, back. It just stays right on top like this. So I think that is so cool. So you can get another paper and then look. Because it uh, lays on top. you can get and there's still some that we can probably fold it and then get another print <laughs> isn't that interesting? The bottom layer is not dry. And then leave that there. Keep grabbing like the same colors like blue, purple. See, it like squeezes out in a way. These are just paper, by the way. These are things that I had cut from my, um, where is that? Uh, I believe it might be either my Cricut or something um, to use. But... 
cool. You can probably get And you can see all the, you see how it can, because the ink sits on top. You see how the ink just stays on the top? So fun, right? So I can put that off to dry. And then we can paint some more. So there's a, of course, the little bit of the waxy, the shiny side, and I'm using the opposite side. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave those there to get extra. Um, you can use a paintbrush. Go ahead and use some so you can like create even the paint kind of sits on top of it. So you can like create different texture if you like. I'm gonna use some orange. Oops. It's very sturdy, I'm very surprised. put ink, paint, or whatever, and it just, it doesn't disintegrate. And then like, I like to There was a little bit of the re, uh, residual ink, but you can see it feels kind of like flimsy, very soft right now, but once it dries, it becomes like this, like crunchy type of a paper. So pretty cool stuff. I really love it. I'm gonna keep doing this. Um, and then hopefully uh, we can use this in a journal. So you can look forward to that. Some interesting textures. Okay. So yay! I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, give them a try. I'm sure uh, in the mainland and things you can get these a lot easier because uh, they don't have it in any uh, sands over here or I try to order it online but they don't ship here. It's pretty strange. I don't know why they wouldn't um, but yeah. But so I'm so glad I got my hands on these. They're really interesting. I've been having a lot of fun with it. You'll definitely be seeing more of like deli paper or something. 
so because I'm still in the experimental um, process so have fun if you have some thanks so much I'll see you back soon bye